Pix 106. 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. I'm over on the uh, Times Union looking to see uh, if, if there was a photo uh, for Whitney Day. See if Chaz was there for Whitney Day. Chaz was not at Whitney Day. He was at Howe Caverns. Oh, he was? Chaz in for Paul. Good morning, Chaz. Good morning, gentlemen. That's not true. I was at Whitney Day. I was on. I was at Howe Caverns on Sunday. Uh, well, sting-a-ling. Yeah. Yeah. How was it, man? Did you, did you, did you dress up? Did you get all fancy looking? No. Okay. Uh, nope. I'm a, no, I did not. I probably should have, but... I think the woman is, I think she's in England. It doesn't matter where she is. It doesn't. She drank 27 wet Red Bulls a day for five years, and now she's blind. And I want to know who's to blame here. Yeah. Her, her or Red Bull? It's it's going to be a pretty interesting case, isn't it? You know, I mean, we've seen things like it in the past. In New York, we had uh, people who got obese suing McDonald's. We've had uh, people who got lung cancer suing tobacco companies. And so now we have people who go blind from drinking 27 Red Bulls suing Red Bulls. So it'll it'll be interesting to see uh, where it all goes. I don't, I don't know at this point. Well, I mean, that, there's a, there, we are, a, we're, we're pigs in this country. We like to consume. Uh, and it's not, in England, though. I know, but Doesn't it, matter, uh, yeah. then, then, then how about me and my three liters of diet soda aspartame a day, a you know? Day. Will I be able to sue, uh, you know, the aspartame people? I mean, that's kind of the question. Can we, is there any recourse I think what it really comes down to, if you look at some of these other things, as an example, like if you look at the tobacco companies, some people have had success suing tobacco companies yeah. where 20 years later they've contracted lung cancer. But what it comes down to is the, you know, deception. You know, is the product more addictive than you thought it was? Is there Are there addictive properties? Are there dangers that you weren't made aware of? You know, and I think if you look at the McDonald's case, uh, uh, you know, in, in those instances, that case has been dismissed. There, there's some sense of personal responsibility and personal choice has to come into play. 27 Red Bulls. A day seems seems excessive, but that that's one man's opinion. Well, I know I love the personal responsibility angle. My only thing is, is if Red Bull would have slapped, and I don't know if they do. If there's any kind of warning on the can, they're totally off. The I phone, feel like right? there used to be a warning on those things, but I thought that was all like PR. I'm not sure. You know? Yeah, you know, I mean, they, and they're not they're not strangers to being sued. If you if you paid attention, they got sued uh, and they actually settled a case in 2014 because. Uh, well, their product doesn't actually give you wings, so they were sued for false <laughs> Come advertising. On. Come on. No, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. This is, this is real. That's real. Uh, it, it was, they were oh. sued for false advertising. It was more than that. You know, essentially they had advertised that the product was uh, an energy drink or gave you more energy than coffee, which turned out to not be true. It's got less caffeine than, than a cup of coffee. And so they settled for $14 million just last year for being sued for false advertising. Wow. So this, this will be interesting. Law 1010 and 1-800-LAW-1010.com. I soak them in asp- aspartame. Great to have you on, Chaz. Thanks, buddy. See you, Bob. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. You too, man. Quinn and Cantera. Mornings on Picks 106.